The United States is now the number one producer of oil and natural gas anywhere in the world, and it's not even close. And with a couple of environmental approvals for certain pipelines, we can get that and really do something with that number. It'll go up very substantially, very quickly, especially in the state of Texas. We're reversing decades of economic surrender and restoring America's industrial might. We surrendered economically. What we did was so crazy. We helped other countries that we never thought about our own country. We lost the magic. We've gotten it back, and we've gotten it back I think you'll soon see greater than ever before. Thank you, President Trump. We are getting the magic back. America is stepping up to the plate, and we are heading for a winning season. Our nation was made of vibrant and strong, and it's got to be the most powerful, the best. It really was made with American manufacturing. And you know that a previous administration said, manufacturing's done, you're going to have to take a magic wand to bring it back. Well, that was wrong. The previous administration, they allowed foreign nations to plunder our wealth and to pillage our factories. They sold out our workers, and they hollowed out our industrial heartland. But those days are over. And I have to tell you, it's not just the previous administration. It's been many administrations, in all fairness to President Obama. It's been many, many administrations. They allowed it to happen. They allowed our factories to close, our workers really to go to not have jobs. We created jobs for other places, for other nations, and we sacrificed so many. 60,000 plants, millions and millions of jobs were lost during, I call them, the stupid years. But now we're back into the really smart years. We had the smart years, now we're the really smart years. They were the stupid years. What they were doing was incredible. NAFTA, one of the world's worst trade deals ever. I know a couple of others, we've been involved in them, too. World Trade Organization, that's a beauty. You don't know as much about that, but NAFTA was a disaster for this country, and we're going to be replacing that very soon. We are in the smart years. We can now win the game with better skills and roles. Way to go, Mr. P. I want you to have strength, but I want you to have a level playing field. Because when you have a level playing field, nobody can beat you. You didn't have a level playing field. You had a playing field that was like this, and you had to go uphill. That's why we're replacing NAFTA with the brand new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. The USMCA will be the most modern, cutting-edge trade agreement in history, with the strongest protections for the American worker ever put in any trade agreement. And that was the single most important thing to me. The USMCA will close the biggest loopholes that caused the mass exodus of manufacturing. You had an exodus of manufacturing under NAFTA. By ratifying the USMCA, Mexico is now committed to be the toughest and have the toughest labor provisions, the highest environmental standards, and the most comprehensive enforcement provisions ever implemented in a trade agreement, ever. He's leveling out the field and getting rid of those loopholes. That's hitting it out of the park, Mr. President. My administration lives by a very crucial motto, a motto that you would agree with 100 percent. Buy American and hire American. Those other days are gone. So as we restore our economy, we're really restoring our standing in the world. We're respected again. America is respected again, like it hasn't been respected in many, many years. We were laughed at. We were scoffed at. We were liked. Why shouldn't we be liked? We were a patsy. But we're respected again, folks. As you know better than anyone, economic security is national security. The President is making America great again. This is definitely a Trump home run.